What's up everyone, it's Kaleem and Kathy back with another edition of the Bollywood Beginner. Today is a very special edition because we're actually doing a movie review, which we've never actually done before. We've done, we've done obviously reactions to trailers, songs, certain scenes of even movies, but we've never done a full movie review. And we just watched this movie today. Really excited to share our thoughts with you guys and see what you guys think. Um, so the movie we are gonna review is called Dunkey which is obviously a very big movie. I think it came out at the end of last year. Is that right? And we just got around to seeing it. And um, so, yeah, obviously it's a new format. So should we do it chronologically and kind of go through it? Kind of what happened or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So obviously it starts, you know, we'll try and do it quickly enough. So it starts when uh, the the main girl is... Manu. Manu's in the hospital. Yeah. And she basically tricks herself of getting out of the hospital. Yeah. And, you know, it's a bit confusing. You don't really know what's going on. And, um, yeah, then she gets a phone and she calls Hardy. Is that right? Yeah, Shara Khan, yeah. Yeah, and I think straight from the beginning, obviously the scene, I, th I quite like the scene when he's running. And, yeah, uh, it's very romantic. It's like... quite romantic, a bit over the top, but in a nice way, I think. Yeah, because um, he was running and when, like, his friend tried to tell him who was calling... He was like, it's Manu. And when he heard the name Manu, he stopped. Like, everything stopped. Yeah. That's how we're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... Yeah, you said that to me while we were watching it. I think it establishes quite early the relationships in the film and how much, obviously, they mean to each other. And that kind of signifies that in a com comedic way, which I think is quite nice. And I think quite early you see the Indian village in Punjab. Is that right? Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a lovely place. And yeah, that establishes it, like I said. And then obviously, you know, kind of cutting forward a bit, it establishes the relationships of, you know, it shows them going to Dubai. Is that right? Yeah. When like they start like uh, telling the, the story when they were younger, because at the beginning they're old. So then like they start remember when they went to like when they wanted to go to to england so it's a it's a beautiful story like when they were a little bit younger when they yeah, wanted to I think like it was 25 years before yeah 25 years so they actually show you like the other two friends that were in england with her and the reasons why they wanted to go to london like wow why they wanted to bad so go there and they all have like circumstances and and they all wanted to make more money to help the families and Manu wants to give it back the parents house and the other two characters the the main ones it was um what was the name Bali. Suki Suki and Bali I think Suki and yeah. Bali so uh, they both have reasons to help the mothers and families and yeah. and it's it's very cute uh, like everything like how it started when they you know they work in there and she's at the restaurant doing par paratas and she just uh, met um, Har Hardy Hardy, yeah. Hardy. Because he, he was with her brother. Yeah. So, so it shows her story of that. She wanted to teach, like, he, she, she wanted to learn yeah, wrestling. Wrestling. Obviously, they got, first they got ripped off by the agent. Yeah. And a lot of things happened. Quite surprising, you know. It was What I liked generally about this movie is there was quite a lot of surprises. For yeah, me, yeah, personally, yeah. anyway, that I didn't see coming. Some films, you can see what direction it's sort of going in. So you think when they get to the agent, they're going to go to London. Because I know I didn't really know much about the film so we reacted to a couple of the music videos but generally I think it's you know there's, there's plenty of surprises in it and like you said before I think the structure of it's quite nice so it starts off obviously when they're older and they're trying to go back to India yeah and then the movie shows them coming from India when they're much younger to try and get to London yeah and that's the they wanted that's the donkey visa. journey right that's that's what a donkey is yeah but China. bef uh, before that they they were trying to learn English mm. to try yeah, to get a visa funny. and that was such a funny and cute thing because they were going to classes and, yeah. <laughs> and it was very very nice and funny they were watching movies and, yeah there's a lot of comic relief yeah there. and then Hardy just figured it out that Manu was like crying when she was watching this movie 
of a woman and like a couple and the guy was proposing to the woman asking like you know mm. asking to get married with her yeah it's like the romantic idea of london Big yeah Dan yeah and everything that comes with it and she was like crying yeah and then he just picked up those you know small things and details and before sorry they they also go there's you know, like you said, up until now you have the classroom. There's a lot of comic relief, and it's it's quite light-hearted, and it's a lot of fun. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's like a funny and nice thing that that we're yeah. going through together to, you know, try to learn English and trying to get a visa. And and then it gets serious quite quickly. Yeah, and then woo, and then it's like wow. <laughs> and then the guy Suki, is it? He's trying to get to England because I think his wife is being beaten by a guy. So he has quite a serious, obviously, well, they all have serious reasons, but his is quite dark, his reason. And then, obviously, they don't, only one of the guys, I think Bali gets, it passes when they yeah, have the interviews. Yeah, he passes the English. Which is quite funny, because yeah. they all learn the same thing. Yeah, he's uh, the only one who They learn the go, monologue, yeah. which changes <laughs> everything, which I thought was quite well done. And, um, yeah, so only they get accepted, and then Suki finds out that his girlfriend or his wife has actually killed herself and it takes like quite it's not his wife or it his... was the one who's supposed to get married yeah, with him but at the end she married she with someone marry. in london and he wanted to go to london to basically to bring her back her, yeah so uh, really, really quickly i mean it, there were signs of it that was getting a bit darker but then like that was a real like you know t- right turn or however you want to call it of the movie and then he sets himself on fire which is nuts like that's i know completely unexpected and you know like i said the first half an hour or 45 minutes is quite like a rom-com, like light-hearted movie. And then it gets like really serious and really dark. He sets himself on fire, ends up dying. And then obviously Hardy, Shadow Khan, vows that he'll get them to to London, to England. Yeah. And then they start their, their journey, the donkey journey. Yeah. And then someone mentioned that it's a route going there. They call it donkey because they say the donkey route mm. and it's illegal and is this is how people try to go yeah it's crazy it's quite it's, dangerous and everything and it's, it, it's a crazy journey i mean i yeah. don't know how again i'm sure it's based on some th- truth in terms of the route if that's the actual so i think they walk uh to pakistan is that right or they yeah. sorry they walk under the river first under the river which to is pakistan incredible yeah. scene because you know they're walking along this riverbed and then this soldier starts firing at them. They have these snorkels. It's a really, really intense scene. And dangerous. Very dangerous, high stakes. And then, you know, they get across to there. And then they have to go to Iran. No, through Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Iran. They go around the mountains. So the scenery is, like, really beautiful. And it's, you know, so much, so much detail in terms of the different countries and the cultures. And then they go into these soldiers who almost end up killing them. And Hardy ends up <laughs> equally, yeah. you know, killing these <laughs> killing soldiers, them. which, like I said, it's very intense. And you really, for me anyway, and I think for you, it's really, you really feel the journey of these characters and you're really rooting for them to get through this after all this. And then finally, I think they're in this truck. Is that right? Where? For 27 days or something like that. Um, Container, first, sorry. And first they took a train and from yeah, Turkey. Yeah, train. And after that, the, the container to go to London. 27, so 27 day, days, yeah, yeah. which is unimaginable to be honest and again i imagine there's some truth to it in terms of the journey or similar and it really makes you think about the journeys these immigrants do but we'll come to that to the end anyway but yeah like i said this brutal journey and then they arrive in england finally you have a real nice moment when they're celebrating you know getting into england and they're kind of running around and they've kind of made their journey <laughs> and then they found the they found bali and then they found out the truth that he was lying about like all the forest he's saying home like like he was doing so well there he had a house he had a car like everything in, that was a lie because he was just um begging for money yeah it was quite a quick harsh reality for them yeah and maybe like I said a lot of people who come to england and you know or other countries and you kind of get that reality and then yeah. you know fast forward and shara khan doesn't want it Again, this is, a, I guess, a patriotic side of the movie where he doesn't want to admit that his country has... He's in danger in his country, so it ends up him sending him back home. And then it kind of, you know, everything kind of spirals and the others stay there in England. Yeah, but you missed the part that she was trying to get married. 
Yeah, sorry, she was trying to get married. Well, there was different ways they were trying to, weren't they? So they tried to get married first, they, and then they after... Were, they were working hard to try to get a visa also, to stay there and make some money. Uh, but yeah, at the end, like, they hardly didn't want to stay there, just lying, saying that he needs, like, his country was, uh, like, a threat for himself. Mm. So to ask him the visa for refugees. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they sent him back. But the other true friends stay there. And they and spend they, their life there, basically. Yeah. So well, after 25 years, they show how Manu calls Hardy again to meet, like, they want to meet in Dubai. Yeah, so they meet in Dubai. And then obviously we find out in Dubai that Manu was sick. Mm. And also she wants very bad go back home because she wants to see family and, you know, like, yeah. I think all of them agree they wanted to go back home, but they couldn't because when you, when you say your country, like, it's a threat for yourself, so. Yeah, they already had the passport. So ironically, they're trying to dunk you the way back into their, own, their home country. Um, and, you know, they should have gone basically hardy basically tricks the immigration lawyers to think they're going to London, so they end up getting sent back. And then, you know, eventually they arrive back home and they all go to their families. Again, a very emotional, very touching moment with Manu going home, seeing her parents in a house with a name on the wall, yeah, which and I think is a really great moment. And the big, um, like London... Uh, the Big Ben, yeah. yeah. He built the Big Ben there. And then the other guys going back to their families. And then, obviously, you know, they're on the rooftop. Oh, yeah, and he was going to propose. Yeah, and that was always her dream. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, it was a very, very touching story, I think, overall. Um, I think it's just a very, how do you say, like a cinematic experience, you know, because it's, it's, it's almost different genres throughout the movie. Like I said, you have, like, it's very lighthearted at the beginning, the first, like, third of it. Quite, rom like, I mean, it's always romantic, but, you know, it's a lot more lighthearted. Then it's very serious. You have the action, really intense. And you have a lot of really nice, like, emotional moments, I think, as well. So, like I said, you kind of get a lot of different genres and emotions. And I think the actors did a great job. I think um, Manu, who's played by Tapsi Panu, she did great. I think she was very likeable in the movie. Great acting and just very... Yeah, when she learned to wrestling. <laughs> yeah, she, they were learned to wrestling together. And obviously, mm. I think Shadow Khan, you know, he was very likeable in it and his character... Um, and the others as well who brought the comic relief to it. Yeah, and also at the end they show some real photos mm. of people uh, trying to uh, immigrate to. Yeah. I am guessing it's to England. And I think it's all over. To be fair, I'm not sure if it's specifically. It might be just be to England. It could um, be. I don't know. I'm not sure, but they they show some real photos. The people have they can die and everything like it's very serious they have kids also and then it's just not like um just to indian people mm. because these things happens a little also in south america mm. a lot of people are trying to go to uh usa and it's the same situation mm. yeah yeah what would you give so what would you give the movie overall i really like her like, out of 10 I would have given her like an eight. Wow, that's quite high. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Yes. Okay, that's a really good score. Yeah. Yeah. I really like. Well done. Okay, fair enough. I would probably give it. I was thinking about this. I, th I think I'd probably give it maybe a seven or a seven and a half out of ten. The only thing I would say personally, uh, like I said, I love you know the the structure of the movie. I think was really well put. To I think personally, it was well put together. And I just thought maybe it was a bit too long. I think they could have, it could have been like maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour shorter. Um, the, I would say the donkey journey back. I, I appreciated that because the honest, like the, iron, the irony, sorry, of them trying to get back in. But I thought that that sequence could have been a bit shorter. I thought the end dragged out a bit. That's just for me personally. And, but like I said, generally, I think the acting was really good. So I would I'd give it a seven, actually. I still a good score, I think, a seven. And really enjoyed it. And... And yeah, like you said, I think what you were just touching upon in South America or India, all over the world, I think it's, you know, it's a big thing that's happening and something that a lot of us take for granted. Um, so it has quite a strong, you know, message to it and a strong political message 
um, to all these people trying to, you know, suffering to get into countries and things that, yeah, things that we just think are accepted. So, no, really enjoyed it and loved doing this review. I think we'll be doing more now. Yeah. So, we'll, I guess we'll try, probably try and do once, one a week in terms of the movie reviews. And then we'll carry on doing our, you know, our other reactions and stuff and see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We definitely did. And thank you so much for watching. If you like our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And comment below if you want us to do what movies that you would suggest to us. And we'll try and obviously watch them, give our honest reviews. And yeah, peace and love, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.